Hi, I'm Lori Julio, Movement and Manual Therapist and creator of Sensory Motor Retraining Technique. I'm going to show you a technique for releasing the pterygoid muscles. These two muscles are muscles of the jaw that are implicated in lots of jaw pain, but also neck dysfunction and trunk dysfunction. So these two muscles are getting tons of work when you're grinding, clenching, chewing, when you're deviating the jaw left and right. And so to release these muscles, you're going to bring your finger or your toothbrush. It's a great time to do this technique is when you're brushing your teeth or after you're brushing your teeth into the mouth. And you're going to find the spot between the upper and lower teeth. To get the lateral pterygoid, you're going to bring your toothbrush or finger up and towards the ear. And to get the medial pterygoid, you're going to bring your finger down and towards the angle of the mandible. So I'm going to demonstrate this with a pen. This is going to be my pen forever, but you will not use a pen. You will use your finger or you, you will uh, use a toothbrush. Uh, if I use my finger, you're just not going to see the deviation of my jaw and I do not have my toothbrush here. So I promise nobody is going to come in contact with this pen again, except for me. So you are going to take your toothbrush to target the lateral pterygoid. I'm going to show you just on the right, but you're going to do the same thing on the left, just with opposite directions, right? So to target that lateral pterygoid, you're going to stick your toothbrush or your finger in your mouth between the upper and lower teeth and up towards the ear. And then in order to treat that muscle, you're going to open the jaw, deviate to the left, deviate to the right, and then close the jaw. So let me show you. So that is lateral pterygoid release. I'm gonna show you medial pterygoid, same thing, except your toothbrush or your finger is gonna be between the upper and lower teeth and now you're aiming it down towards the angle of the mandible. And then to treat this one in the very same manner as you did the lateral pterygoid, just a little bit different. So when the toothbrush or your finger is in there, you're going to deviate left while the mouth is closed. Then you're gonna open and deviate right. So it'll look like this. Yeah, a little bit different, but fairly similar. So let me show you. Again, down towards the angle of my mandible, left, open, right, close. Yeah, so those two techniques are really great for releasing those muscles. If you use a pen, make sure it's going to be yours forever. If you have questions about that drill or wondering whether or not it's appropriate for you, get assessed by a practitioner or post some questions for me.